Hello YouTube. Welcome to Shorob's tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make sale entry with inventory, how to make sale entry without inventory, how to edit sale entry if any mistake has done. Let's say Take some example of transaction with inventory. First example is 24 8 2015 cash sale 3 pieces of Samsung S4 12,000 each. That means every Samsung S4 we sold each sale price is 12,000. And the second transaction, 26-8-2015, credit sale to measures along gate trading, two pieces of LG 35 inch TV for the total amount of 60,000. This is, these are the transaction with inventory. We'll uh, solve this problem. Let's see our second examples second transactions what they will be these examples will be for the transaction without inventory here no inventory means no item will be mentioned over here just only sale price if you do a transaction without inventory how you going to solve it in neutrally I am going to show you these two transactions is showed over here 24-8-2015 cash sale 7000 26-8-2015 credit sale to measures Shamba trading 25000 so let's see how we are going to solve these things so we are taking first the transition is 24-8-2015 cash sale Three pieces of Samsung S4 12,000 each. So, how are we going to solve that one? First of all, in the gateway of tally, you have to go under the transaction, you're going to see accounting vouchers. You have to go there. If there is any other vouchers is open, you have to click from this list. You have to click sale or F8. When you will click in sale, then you can see sale vouchers is open over here. This is. There are two types of sale voucher you can use. There you can see as voucher. This window will show. And as invoice with the item, this invoice, uh, this in window will show in front of you. There are two types of you can enter any either uh, as voucher or as invoice as you like so I am taking as invoice so first of all I have to put the reference number you can put anything as you want so our transaction is 24-8-2015 cash sale 3 pieces of Samsung S4 12,000 each so first of all we have to fix the date 24-8 24-8 2015 after giving this date I am just entering then you can see the change is uh, the date is changed now I have to put reference number any reference number I can give I am just leaving it empty over here then because we sell it uh, cash that's why this is a cash sale that's why I am going to select cash in the list of ledger I am going to select cash then it is window then just go enter 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 and then in the list of ledger in the sale ledger you are going to create a sale ledger then it will show you sale then enter with the sale so already party's name I gave cash sale ledger sale now items we know that items in Samsung S4 12,000 each three pieces so let's type Samsung when I write Samsung there are already suggesting me three items 
Samsung S4 I will select because there is no tracking number I am giving not applicable no order number not applicable because it's three pieces I am giving three as you can see three pieces Samsung S4 each 12,000 so I am giving 12,000 under the rate then I am pressing enter then you can see automatically it calculated how much it will be enter enter by pressing enter again enter 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 to accept and again enter to accept this one so this is how I made my first transaction cash sale 3 pieces of Samsung S4 12,000 uh, 12, each so I am moving to my next voucher or next sale that is credit sale to MS Alamgir Trading 2 pieces LG 35 inch TV for the total amount 60,000 it's not said that uh, 60,000 each it is total amount 60,000 that means each each TV will be 30,000 each so you have to see these are the this Samsung S4 we already say 12,000 each but this transition is saying total amount will be 60,000 for 2 TV so let's solve it so first of all I have to fix the date because date is 26-8 that's why I have to fix the date 26-8-2015 then I am leaving the reference entry empty and because this transaction is sale on credit to measures alamgir trading that's why I am selecting measures alamgir trading in the list of account entering just enter enter or if you don't want to, to give too much enter you just have to click ctrl a to save this one and again sale select sale from the list of ledger now I am giving the items we know the items is LG 35 inch TV so let's see LG let's type LG 35 inch the list of stock is already suggesting me LG 35 inch TV we have 10 in 10 piece in stock so we are going to sell 2 piece today so LG 35 inch I am just selecting that one not applicable not applicable in order number also two pieces here we know that total amount is 60,000 so I am just leaving empty this box of rate entering again enter again enter I am just going to the amount is 60,000 when I am when I'm making enter you can see it already automatically counted each rate each rate it, uh, the tally will automatically count the 30,000 each total 60,000 so this is how you are going to make entry if you want to save this you can go enter enter and accept or you can do uh, if you want to save directly then control A to save this transaction we already saved this transaction as you see so this is how you are going to do transaction this is how you are going to do transaction with the inventory so what about the transaction without inventory how are you going to do it so let's see that one if you want to do transaction without inventory you can do one thing that in the list you can see here in this window here you can select as voucher I'll show you another way how to do that one so as voucher I select as voucher this window will come this type of uh, features will show you a uh, reference then I am giving reference the so first transaction is cash sale 7000 because it's cash sale so our cash will coming in I will select cash as David so is cash sale 7000 so it I am saying cash David 7000 then I am entering 
then credit will be sale automatically it's given sale in the item because uh, without item we going to show this one that's why i am leaving this box empty i'm just entering and just keeping 7000 over there as sale enter 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 to accept this is how we can do one inventory otherwise if you don't want any inventory suggestion suppose like this when we are giving doing this it was suggesting one inventory allocation this box is coming if you don't want any uh, any inventory allocation box or something you don't want any anything in inventory so what you have to do you have to change or configure you have to change your company setting you don't if you don't want any inventory transactions then you have to go there company info alter then select your company make enter here you can see one menu is showing maintaining accounts accounts or only invent only accounts if you select this and save this one it will not suggest any inventory here you will see here accounting voucher go on i am going to the accounting voucher as invoice you can do no problem or as uh, invoice as so i am just selecting this one sale as voucher now we know that second transaction is 26 8 2015 credit sale to masha samra trading 25000 so let's do that one so first of all 26 it's 26 8 you can see the date is changed now reference i am leaving this empty because we are selling this on credit to mr masha samra trading so i am selecting masha samra in the li uh, in the list of lesser masha samra trading then you can see total 25000 we sell to him 25000 here one window is showing new reference it's showing the sales reference you can leave this one as as it is 120 days credit we are giving to him it's uh, suggesting okay 25000 amount now sale see after giving this sale it is not suggesting me any item allocation because we already turn off that one it will not suggest me any more item allocation so this is how you going to accept and sale so now i am going to show you how to edit if any you've done any mistake in sale so for the edit for to edit or to make it right you have to go in display then accounting books ledger you have to go in sale when you go to sale you will see from august 1 to august 26 or august 30 the whole month transaction you will see in front of you if you have done in mistake suppose uh, if i done if i have done any mistake in 26 at 2015 shambha trading i am just going over there if i want to change any digit i can change this is how you going to you can edit the any mistake if you, you can edit any mistake if you have done in tally so i am not editing this one i am leaving as it is just pressing escape escape to come out of that without editing so this is how thank you for watching if you like my channel or if you like my video please comment and subscribe my channel thank you very much